In this lesson, we're going to look at multiplying a single digit number by a number that has multiple digits. Now, um, if you don't yet have memorized your multiplication facts of multiplying single digit numbers by single digit numbers, then you need to have that done before really going on. So uh, the process I'm going to show you um, relies on the fact that you know those multiplication facts, that you know 9 times 8 is 72 off the top of your head. So if that's not where you're at at this point, go ahead and shut this video off and work on that until you have those facts memorized. And obviously if you're having trouble getting those facts memorized, you need some tips and tricks to doing so, uh, just see your instructor and he or she would be happy to help. Um, assuming you do have those down, um, let's take a look at um, a few different ways multiplication can be written. Um, one way is with parentheses, so if a number is surrounded in parentheses and there's another number next to it, that indicates multiplication. Um, of course the familiar x between two numbers also um, indicates multiplication. And then finally a dot between two numbers is another way to say that you're supposed to multiply those two numbers. So let's begin with this example on the far left here, um, 4 times 20. Okay. So first of all, the way you'll write these in general is by stacking them, much like you did addition and subtraction, always putting the number with a larger number of digits on top. So for us, we're going to put 20 on top and 4 on bottom. But before we get to the process involved with multiplying in this vertical um, style, let's just talk about what multiplication really means. So if I say 4 times 20, uh, what I'm really asking us to figure out is if you have 4 20s, how much do you have? Or in other words, if you have 4 $20 bills, how much money do you have? Okay. And since I only have four of them, actually, that can actually be written out quite easily in the sense that we understand we would just need to add 20 to itself with a total of four of those 20s. And that's easy enough to do. We add up the ones column and still have zero, and then 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 8. So we understand that if you had four $20 bills, you'd have $80, right? So since we know that's the answer, I'm just going to put 80 underneath of um, my notation here for 20 times 4. And let's try to figure out what, where all this can come from without showing all this addition. Well, if we look here, we have 4 times 0. Okay, 4 times 0. So I'm multiplying 4 by the digit in the 1's place. And that gives me 0. 4 times 0 is 0. And then I can bump over and multiply 4 by the 2 in the 10's place. And that gives me my 8. But of course, because I'm multiplying by what's in the 10's place, I put the 8 in the 10's place. So that's a way of understanding how we get this 80. And you can see that down here. There are four zeros in the ones place, so I put a zero in the ones place. There are, there are four twos in the tens place, so I put an eight in the tens place. <coughs> All right, so now let's take a look at this next example. And we'll tr kind of try to understand the process for this in a few different ways, like we did in the first example. So. Up here, I am going to show the way that you're going to want to do these problems almost always. But down here, I'm going to also show how we can understand it in the context of adding. Just like we did in the first example. So, I know I can add all these up. 9 plus 9 is 18, plus another 9 is 27, plus another 9 is 36. Okay, and now if I'm adding, I'm just going to put a 6 down here, and I'm going to carry my 3, right? And then I'm going to add all this up, so 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 8, plus the 3 
gives me 11. But let's break down what it is that each of the parts of this addition problem actually are. These four nines added together are really just 4 times 9. And these four twos added together are really just 4 times 2. So if I go up here, I could have gotten at the exact same answer by doing the following shortcuts. I'm going to take 4 times 9 is 36. So I'm going to put my 6 down here just like I did when I added these up. And then I'm going to carry my 3 to the tens place just like I did when I was adding down here. Now, what did I do down here? I added up my 4 twos, then I added the 3 to it. Well, adding up the 4 twos was the same as 4 times 2. So up here I'm going to take 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. And so you can see, obviously, much less writing here, um, a lot less complicated. But understand, it's just doing the exact same thing as we did down here, but just in a shorthand form. Let's take a look at this last example. We're going to attack this example without doing all the addition to kind of help us understand it, basically because I don't want to write 376 eight times and add all those up. That sounds like a pain. So let's just go with the shortcut method now. So we have 376 times 8. And I really shouldn't call it the shortcut method. It's, it is the method you want to use uh, because fairly quickly we're going to get into numbers that are just completely impractical to add up like this. So um, this, yes, it's shorter than what we showed here, but this is the way that you want to do it. Okay, so now let's understand the process. We're going to multiply 8 by what's in the 1's place of 376. So 8 times 6 is 48. So we'll put the 8 here and carry the 4 up there, above the 10's place. Now we'll multiply what's in the 10's place. 8 times 7 is 56, plus 4 gives me a total of 60. So I put the 0 down there. Put the 6 up above the hundreds place in 376. And then finally, 8 times 3 is 24, plus 6 is 30. And there are no more digits to carry to, so I just write 30 down here. So my answer is 3,008.